Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face tutorial on this look that I have on right here. This is a very similar look to the one that I was wearing in my refer brushes video and you guys kept asking for it. Now I'm using slightly different products, but this is like my go-to a soft glam type of look. In the last video I was wearing lashes, so if you wanted to up this a little bit and make it just a little bit more va va voom you could add a pair of lashes and it would just bring the look up just a little bit. I have a bunch of errands and things that I need to do today, so I thought this was a perfect time for me to show you guys this look. So if you're interested in how I created it, just keep watching. As you can see, I already have my brows done and I also primed my eyes. I used the Anastasia New Primer to do that. They're not set in any way, so it's still just like a little tacky base. And then I have my pores primed as well. And I will leave that information down below. But now I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm going to use the La Mer Soft Fluid. And the color I'm using is number 12 Natural. I'm going to apply this with my Sonia Kashuk Sponge. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer, the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. The shade that I use is number 5. Huda Beauty Pound Cake. I am going to use this to bake. Now I always start on my pores because that's where... I need the majority of like like really setting everything up and then I will take the excess up. So I don't want too much up here. The only time I have a whole lot of powder up underneath my eyes is if I'm doing a an eye look and I need to bake in order to catch fallout. Like I'm not sure if there's fallout, if there's going to be a bunch or not. But generally speaking, I just drag up the excess and then have the majority right here on my pores. And then I always bake my nose because nose gets shiny so quickly. And then lastly, the chin. I also do not just sit here and let this bake. I immediately go in with my powder and then wipe it off. So I'm going to be using my La Prairie. I cannot put this down. I have the, so it goes zero, one, two. So I have shade one. I think I said that I had shade two, but they start off with zero, so. I have shade one, translucent one. And I'm putting this on with my Wayne Goss Zero Zero brush. And then go ahead and dust off the bake. I'm going to take my refer brush. I don't remember the number, but this is, mine says P09A. I think I'm going to have to put like the new actual numbers on like the bottom or something and put clear nail polish over it so I can remember. Tatcha Gold Spun Camilla Lip Balm. I always put this on while I'm doing my makeup so that I can prep my lips. For bronzer, today I'm going to go in with my Jouer one, and I have light to medium duo with sunlight and suntan. I mix the two, and yes, I just hit pan again. I've already gone through one of these, and I just hit pan, I think, like two days ago or something. And um, this is a Royal Lane Nickel BOM 36. <laughs> So I literally just do this, then go down here. I always hit pan on the lighter shade first because I think it's a little softer in formula than the other shade. By Terry Dual Compact Expert Powder in the shade number four and a Tom Ford number 11. And this is what I use on my nose. I always bring it into the eye socket right here. Linda Hallberg 303, and I'm going to take the center shade. 
I'm gonna have to replace this soon. I mean, yeah, we're we're looking a little a little empty. And I use this to highlight the bridge and tip of my nose, and then I kind of like dust away the excess with my finger. And I always skip like this little spot right here. So do the tip and this part right up here. Now for blush, I'm gonna use Melt Honey Thief on a Sony G Cheek Pro. I love these blushes from Melt. I have this one in Cali Dream. They're just so beautiful. And this one's a softer pink. Cali Dream is more of like that corally kind of color. Now for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with this one from Benefit. This is the Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad. I'm going in with Cookie, and you guys, in case you didn't know, they're gonna come out with a full size of just this highlighter, so I am so excited. And I'm going to be using a Stelazi Prime L302 to apply it. I do have a code with Stelazi now. It's not an affiliate code, so I'm not gonna make commission off of it, but I, it is a code for you guys. So they're really kind to me and let me get a code so you guys can use it to get some money off. I don't even know how much of a discount. <laughs> I stink at this YouTuber thing sometimes, but there is a code, it's listed down below if you guys are interested in it. In it. But I have been loving this brush because it puts my highlighter right where I want it, like right on the tip tops of my cheekbones and it blends out very nicely and I can get it on my forehead. Chin. I personally like to put on a whole lot of highlight because I know that I'm going to go back in and buff. So I don't want my highlight to be completely gone whenever I do buff. So I put on a lot <laughs> and make it really like Tin Man looking and then I calm it down with my powder. I'm going to add some of this to my nose because I feel like it. In case you're wondering why. <laughs> I want to blend my blush brush, no extra part, just right around the edges. I just ran through another bottle of my beloved Watermelon Glow Mist. Don't worry, I have another one. I'm going to shake this up and do a, just a little on my face before I buff. Now I am going to buff. I'm using my Sicily powder and my Sonia G Sculpt 2. I usually like to go in with my Bioterry Hydra powder for my pores and to help brighten it up, the area up, but I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Lavender shade instead, just because it's just a little bit more brightening than this is a Stelazi Large Fluff. What number are you? L224. Okay, now for the eyes. You guys, every time I wear this palette, you guys notice and everyone's like, I want a tutorial and then I feel bad for even wearing it because it is the Aspen Ovard palette. Every single time I'm wearing like a soft look and you guys want it, it's like, it's this. And I cannot dupe these. The problem is that they are so soft and a lot of other shadows that I find that might be like the same kind of color family or the same color when they are hit, like they hit the lids, they are darker than what these go. So that's the problem I have. Now, the closest thing I can find is this palette right here. This is from Hourglass. I love this palette. Love the uh, Vista, love the, whatever, Vista one, two. Here they are side by side. I'm trying to get High School Sweetheart, which is this shade right here. It's a very light pink. So I'm gonna go in with Myth, and I am going to take this shade right here. And I'm gonna grab that shade on a Zoeva 227. I don't wanna pick up a lot, because like I said, all of the colors I try are always just a little bit darker. So I'm picking up very little product. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this in the crease. This is one of the 
easiest looks you could possibly do. It's one of my favorites to do, probably because it is so easy and it's so natural, but it's really pretty at the same time. I love how easily shadows blend on this primer unset. It's unbelievable to me. I love it. E some S33, and I'm just going to run that right along my lower lash line. Same shade. Still using the same shade, and I'm taking a Sonia G Builder 3, and I'm packing that all over the lid. MAC 252 and the lightest shade in the palette. I am going to run this at the brow arch and then just dust the excess around the edge. I'm going to take that same shade on a MAC 242. <laughs> I couldn't spit it out. I'm going to put it on the inner corner. And then I'm going to go add milk liner to my inner rim and just mascara. I was wearing lashes in my last video, but I don't feel like lashes today. I don't feel like doing it. To finish off the eyes, I went in with Milk Boss Liner to the top inner rim, as always. And then I used my NARS Climax Mascara for the top lash line, and then MAC Extended Play for the lower lash line. And I have a video like all about my lashes. If you're curious about that, I will try to remember to link that down below. Now for my lips, I have already lined them and slightly filled them in with this liner from Bite Beauty, and it's the number 20. Now I'm going to finish it off with Tom Ford All Mine. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this soft glam tutorial. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.